Hey everyone. Uh, I know no one likes to uh, see negative results, but I think it's always important to uh, publish these things so that you know what not to do. Uh, what I, my, my attempted was uh, to extract caffeine from green coffee beans. So I got some green coffee beans, and I got this tank here which is made for uh, paintball guns. This is made to hold nitrogen, compressed nitrogen at 3000 psi. So it's actually built uh, with a heavier construction than the CO2 tanks. So I originally thought I was going to cut this thing with a bandsaw and then weld some flanges to it so that I could open the tank up and use it as a high pressure vessel. Um, but the, the tank is quite thick and I was worried that welding it would affect the strength of the metal. Uh, and also welding something so thick would be tricky with my welder. I would have to preheat this. But I, I may still try it so that that'll be a topic for another video. So anyway, the first order of business is cleaning this thing out. I unscrewed the, uh, the valve, it came with a pressure gauge and a valve on the top, unscrewed this and looked in there and found all kinds of crap. So I uh, figured one of the best ways to clean this would be to put uh, some steel shot in there with some cleaning solution and then mount it on the lathe and have it spin around so that the shot would hit the wall of the chamber and kind of clean it off. So that worked pretty well. So next I wanted to do a dry run. So I packed this thing uh, up with some dry ice and um, didn't really measure too much. I just wanted to make sure that there was some uh, dry ice in there to make a supercritical fluid. And that way I could, you know, swish it around in there and then dump and then release the pressure slowly and pour out the, the solvent to sort of clean the chamber. So I did that and, and put it in the oven and raised the temperature, made sure it went super critical, took it out, brought it back down and poured out the the, uh, the solvent. I had some water and ethanol in there just as a basic solvent. And that helped, that, that cleaned out some more gunk out of, the, out of the chamber. So then I was ready and I got some green coffee beans and put those in the chamber. And then again, packed in some more uh, dry ice, ground up dry ice. And then I also added some ethanol and water, uh, vodka in this case, as a, as a co-solvent. So I read online that oftentimes ethanol and water is used in conjunction with supercritical CO2 to, uh, to extract caffeine. And I should have been measuring all of this, but I really wasn't. I uh, just put it all together and then put it in the oven for a total of about six hours. So it was about 80 degrees C for uh, six hours. And uh, opened it up and very slowly shook out all of the beans. They had actually changed quite a bit. The beans that came out of the chamber were uh, almost like hard rubber, like they were white, discolored from the original green of the green coffee beans. And um, there was no solvent left. Even though I poured in some, some water and ethanol, when I took the chamber out of the oven, uh, only, only rubberized beans came out. I actually didn't get any liquid out whatsoever, which was surprising. So I got the beans into a, a funnel with a filter, and then I was thinking, well, the caffeine probably went into solution in the supercritical CO2, and when I released the pressure, um, all of that caffeine probably came out of solution and stuck to the outsides of the beans. So now all I have to do is wash it off, right? So I, I had the beans in that funnel and poured just some water over them and let it drain out. So then I had a solution of uh, what I thought was dirty caffeinated water. So I poured that into a pan and set it up on the stove thinking that uh, I would evaporate most of it away through boiling and then the last bit could be evaporated just by straight evaporation. And then I could, you know, scrape off the crystals. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, there were no crystals to scrape off. There was absolutely no detectable caffeine. I, I forget what the solubility is, but it's, it's some number of grams per, um, per liter. Anyway, I'll look it up, but I, I could tell that there was absolutely no precipitation going on whatsoever. So there was basically no caffeine in that pan of water. So anyway, I, um, I think I will follow up by trying something else. Maybe I actually will convert this chamber to be more of a, a chamber, and then I can put more solvent in the, in the bottom. I think a lot of commercial uh, CO2 or supercritical CO2 decaffeination works by uh, having like a bunch of water and ethanol at the bottom of the chamber, and the beans are, sub are uh, suspended above in like a mesh net or something. And then the supercritical CO2 passes through the beans, through the water, 
and transfers the caffeine into the water. So maybe I'll try something like that. Anyway, I uh, just thought I would share this to show you what, what doesn't work. And uh, for my next trick, I might actually try aerogel. Someone sent me some information about aerogels, and so if I cut this chamber up so that I can actually access the hole, the hole inside, I think that might be something pretty fun to try, too. All right, see you next time. Bye.